Hello again from the Philippines. Yes, it's cockadoodle time, as you can well hear in the background, no doubt. Today, I must apologize for not doing my daily comment, but sometimes life can be a bit like that. It can um, throw up certain times where you're just a bit like writing a book. Sometimes you are a little bit dry and you can't really think of something that is more profound than um, it's just another day in the Philippines. Well, it is just another day in the Philippines. Today is Tuesday and uh, yes, it is another day in the Philippines. And with that, uh, one lives with the idea that most days are pretty much the same as others. One thing that has rather interested me or intrigued me somewhat, I was asking, um, I asked the question to Jane, do you remember the, remember the song, Sorry is the Hardest Word? I think Elton John sang it. Well, it seems it's a word that, or a, a technique in life that Filipinos clearly um, don't aspire to. Um, that's not to say that, for instance, Jane will often say to me, sorry, Dada, and I appreciate that. But in terms of the girls, one has to uh, constantly remind them that in the West, um, it is considered impolite if you are in some way offending somebody, that you don't apologize. Um, we all know that we can say things and appear to be sincere and that is our wish by most who are on the receiving end of an apology. But <clears throat> apparently, Jane was saying that to apologize in that manner, to say sorry, is just simply not the way the Philippines operate. It isn't something that is installed in you. I asked the question, I said, when you really riled up your mother or your father in the past. Did you ever say sorry? And she said quite categorically, no. And that shocked me somewhat. But then she also added to it that to clarify that situation, not to make herself out or, or to mislead me in any way, it's just not in the culture to actually do that. So as a Westerner, as I explained to her, when the girls finally leave home and go out into the real world, maybe overseas, they're going to have to learn very quickly that one of the simplest ways of um, showing respect and uh, understanding that you may well have offended someone is to say sorry. And without that ability to recognize that that is the simplest way to avoid uh, people thinking that you are uncaring or inconsiderate. It's a, a tool in life that we all gain in knowledge growing up in the West, but it's not a tool that necessarily Filipinas are a part of. Another point is, completely off the subject again, and I'm known for that of course, is that when you loan money, or as we all know, it's not a loan, it's a gift. It's something you will never see again. And there is a tendency here in the Philippines, again it touches on to subjects I've talked about before, and that was the idea of saving face. Saving face is uh, an integral part of Philippine culture. It, uh, you and I might just call it just lying. Sometimes it's denial. Um, and that can be very frustrating for a foreigner to see it happening. Often you find that if somebody in the family has offended somebody, uh, the answer is always to bail them out. 
in some way. For instance, if they owed them money, somebody else is owed money in a family, it's easier to pay the money than to make the person who owes it uh, responsible. Because again, the emotional blackmail is brought back on the foreigner, because he's the ATM, remember? And that is that um, it has to be done. It's, uh, if it's not done, you know, what do we do? Despair, despondency. So you are emotionally torn and you inevitably end up in a situation where you have to decide, am I going to help or am I not? Uh, we're not talking about somebody who's sick uh, and needs money for a hospital or a doctor. We're just talking about somebody who maybe shouldn't have borrowed money when they did and that has to be paid back or somebody who in the family that might have, uh, I don't know, maybe scammed or tricked somebody out of money. And the only real way out is to repay that person and hope that the problem goes away. Of course, as we all know, uh, bad news travels faster than good news. And therefore, the concept, from my understanding, would be that to pay the debt won't remove the fact that that person really has lost favour with the person that maybe uh, they scammed or that they owed money to. So myself, if I were paying money out, I would be aware that to do so is to simply throw that money that I had away and not expect to be repaid. In the event of it actually being repaid would be a miracle. So if you do come to the Philippines and you become part of a family situation, just remember some of the things I'm telling you. Our experience and understanding gained over seven years of living here. So I talk from somewhat a base of understanding, not from the point of view necessarily of my own uh, experience, uh, but of many experiences explained to me and um, relayed back to me, either by subscribers or by uh, neighbors and people that I know around the area. So I hope this has been a, a good morning for you and I hope that you please subscribe. We need some more subscribers. Tell your friends, it costs nothing to subscribe, but don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, I love reading the comments. Uh, I try and read them all, even though they may, may be aimed at comments of other people who've made comments about my comments. But it's interesting to see the balance of views. So uh, keep up the good work. And uh, don't forget Expat in the Philippines is also my channel. Uh, it's a parallel one, so that if I do have a problem with this channel, uh, you can still catch up with me there. So, uh, with all being said, we hope you have a great day, a great evening, and we'll catch you again soon. Bye now.